Oh yeah, we're well aware that a sensual thumbnail was used to get you to watch this tasty morsel of a video, and now that we have your undivided attention, I can tell you about these voluptuous denim brands from Japan that you should check out. They may not make a girl's booty clap, but they some damn good brands. I, I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I love the booty clap, personally. I know it's inappropriate. I can't help it though. Anyway, Reggie Casual, let's go. Booty clap. Coming in at number five, we got Momotaro Jeans. Named after the Peach Prince, a famous Japanese legend. The Peach Prince, come on bruh, even he understood the power of the, mm, sweet Christmas. Anyway, Momotaro is known for its tireless quality. Coming straight from Denim Haven, Okayama, and with a slogan of made by hand without compromise, it's no wonder why Momotaro is lauded worldwide for its quality. Each pair is crafted by skilled Japanese samurai. <laughs> Uh, Japanese artisans whose dedication is to making the perfect denim. So when you get into Momotaro, you're basically putting on a piece of history or art or near flawless design or something great that I can't explain in words. But Momotaro, that, you, you know, yeah, definitely. You got it, you gotta hit them up. Coming in at number four, do we even have to put numbers on these? Let's, I'm, I might stop putting them. Anyway, we got Sugar Cane and Company started in 1975 under one of Japan's biggest American casual manufacturers in Toyo Enterprises. Sugar Cane and Company got its name from the actual plant that many of their models are made from. That's right. Most raw denim brands be using 100% cotton, but Sugar Cane jeans be putting sugar in them jeans. That's not a joke, it's real. The most famous sugarcane models are Awa, Okinawa, and Hawaii, named after the areas where the sugarcane plant is grown. Like most of the best denim brands in Japan, Sugarcane and Company develop their own fabric instead of using mill stock, and they have an unfathomable, unfathomable dedication to American workwear, but aren't afraid to flaunt its Japanese roots. There's more to talk about with Sugarcane, but putting on a pair is a taste of that tradition, and they're better for the environment because they're made with sugar cane. Go plant it. Blue and plunder. It's almost unfair to call Blue Blue Japan a denim label because although it works with denim, it's more so positioned as an indigo brand. But I like it personally, so it goes on the list. Mm, owner call. So there. Launched in the good old 90s when everything was right in the world, 96 to be exact, Blue Blue Japan's focus on the indigo dye is tied to everything they do. This of course includes denim, but a bevy of other made exclusively in Japan items. What makes Blue Blue so special is that it doesn't rest its yannies on indigo. Traditional Japanese techniques, patterns, and garments also accompany the label, making it one of the most traditional on the list, and uniquely Japanese. With time, the color will fade to match the wearer's body and habit, just like in denim jeans, but with nearly every piece they have available that uses the natural dye, making Blue Blue Japan timeless. Another 1996 start was made by the meticulously detailed flathead denim. Emerging from a vintage store in Nagano and the aptly named proprietor Kobayashi-san, because he's Japanese, that's, that's, why, that's why aptly. The flathead made its name by its love affair with Americana, but that's not all. Every piece of clothing uses only specially selected threads, bespoke fabrics, and construction methods. The goal? To create something with unquestionable character that ages beautifully as Kobayashi puts it. And it shows with their famous 3009 denim, the most famous raw selvage pair they have, known for yielding high contrast fades. That means as time goes on, the fades are easily seen against the indigo dye. You know what I'm talking about. This is a desire for many the denim enthusiasts. Not only that, but you can hand these babies in real time at the shop. They'll do it right in front of you. Not, not that, they'll do that in front of you just so you can get the best possible pair that you can get. Again, as the Cobster puts it, at the time the product is only 50% complete, but that completeness level arises with repeated wearing as the product begins to feel itself into the unique shape of the individual. That, my friend, is either lazy or overkill dedication. I'll go with the latter. And finally, we get to studio the artisan. 
Japanese just don't like using Japanese words for the brands. I don't know. Part of the Osaka Five, basically the five Japanese denim houses that speared a denim revolution in Japan, Studio de Artisan has to be the most storied of the pack. Starting in 1975 by Shigeru Tagaki, the label wasn't really considered a denim label at first and considered more of a reproduction company. But this would eventually be the brand's biggest selling point. Instead of making replicas, they made original pieces inspired by archival stuff. However, they hit a bit of a snag early on due to being outrageously overpriced for the time. Most mass market denim was like 7,000 to 8,000 yen at the time, while Studio de Artisan slapped that booty and made it clap for 29,000 yen. That's like $285 USD. That's expensive today. In the 80s though? I mean, it better not just clap, it better make it talk. However, the resurgence of vintage denim in the 90s led the studio, the artisan, becoming the benchmark in which all other denim labels would follow. And although Tagaki left the label, it continues to be incredibly influential and widely regarded as one of the greatest denim labels ever to come out of Japan. Check and mate, the artisan. Now there's a lot of other denim labels out here killing it. 45 RPM, Pure Blue, Edisu still has chops, Big John, Mr. Freedom, Stevenson Overall, Samurai Jeans, Orslo, Capital, Denim. It gets lengthy, but as with all denim, it's about how it feels for you. We all got a favorite pair, and if you don't, it's time to invest. As any denim enthusiast will tell you, yet again, a good pair will last a lifetime. And speaking of lifetimes, we only got one of them, or so we know. Denim in Japan is great, but it's the people that make it great. Recently, Japan has been hit with floods largely affecting Okayama Prefecture, the denim capital of Japan. And since we all love Japan, we should, how about donating a bit of relief to the Japanese Red Cross by clicking the link below this video. Your donation will go to helping those in dire need of supplies, food, clothing, and shelter who have been displaced by this natural disaster. Every little bit helps. It's greatly appreciated. That, that's how we do it. That's how we get it. That's how we get out there. Now that's it for this list, but I'm sure you got something to say, so let that be known in the comments. The artisan. <laughs> What is going on? Do you have any of the brands that we listed today? That's a question, answer that. In any case, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Follow on the gram to keep up with the latest on Japan. That's coming up on the screen. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe, but most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. And I'll see you guys in a minute. The Artisan! <laughs>